Hello guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Pathless and today I'm going to be doing uh, top 10 perks for beginners when you first start this game. Now when you first start this game it is a bit difficult at first because there's a lot of enemies you've never seen and reacted to if this is your first time playing the game. And there's a lot of other perks that do a lot more that uh, I'm going to be showing off today. So, uh, so pretty much we're going to be focusing on perks not the uh, the seven attributes to the game, which is strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and a look. I wouldn't count those as a perk. I would count anything that goes under it as perks. So let's get into the list. First perk that will come really in handy is lockpick. Now in almost every Fallout game, there's been a safe or something that you can unlock, like a door. Something valuable. And you can get a lot of valuable stuff out of it. Now this is a really good one to upgrade, enhance at the first of the game, especially if you want to get that cry later that's in the vault 111, which is, I think it's actually in my inventory right now, which is this gun right here, and it is a, it's a pretty powerful gun, especially if you upgrade it, now you can find that in the vault, but it is under master lock, and I also should say this in the beginning, uh, this isn't like a top 10, like it's going, it's counting down. These are just the top 10 perks I would suggest investing in at the beginning of the game, in my opinion, because these, these are the ones I invested in. Well, I had to go back and do my save, and there was one that I couldn't invest in. Well, two, which was Lead Belly and Rad Resistant, which are also on the list. But I had to do another playthrough, so I couldn't really invest in those, because I was doing a YouTube playthrough. So, uh, I had to, like, cut down on those. But, like I said, they're not in, like, important order, they're just there. But I would suggest investing in lockpick, because there's a lot of stuff in the game that requires lockpicking. Now, the next one has to do with lockpicking is Hacker, which, there's terminals in the game, which, in some of the missions, you will need to hack a terminal. Like, uh, the Paladin Dance um, side quest, you will need to hack a terminal. And this is the one you'll need to upgrade so you can hack better terminals. And as it goes up, you will, like the highest one, and when hacking, you will never get locked out of terminals when things go wrong because you only get four tries unless you find duds or re to uh, reset your try. Same with this. Your uh, bobby pins will never break during lock picking with the lock picking. So if you upgrade it to the max, it pretty much makes it invince. It just makes it almost impossible to fail at any one of these. But then again in Fallout 4, other like other than the other fallouts, they've made it really easy to gather lock picks. So I mean that's not really a big deal. I think I have like over 300 right now. Because you can find them people just selling them. It's just easier now, I I think. Perk is strong back, which I would suggest if because I mean if you're a true Fallout player and you're new to Fallout 4 your main instinct is you want to pick up everything, and uh, other th although you might want to pick up everything, your back not be able might not be able to uh, handle it. So this is where this comes in handy. Every time you upgrade it, it just helps you, you know, pretty much co like combat that. Like 25 pounds of carrying weight, 50 pounds. When overcumbered, you can use action points to run, so you can pretty much run. And then when over encumbered, you can fast travel. So it pretty much makes it like it's not even a big deal. Like you might walk slow, but you can still run, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I haven't, I'm probably going to upgrade this next. As you can see, I've almost leveled up. But this is a really good one if you're one of those people that just likes picking up everything just like I am. Next perk is called Gun Nut, which if you were just like me, most people in the game, it's not just me, have realized that Upgrading your guns is the best thing to do. Like in New Vegas, it was really hard to put attachments on your guns. It was just really difficult because you'd have to buy them. I couldn't really figure out how to put them on my guns and how to take them off. But they've made it a lot easier by adding a workbench to the uh, game. A gun bench that you can build at any of your settlements or you can just find somewhere. And this is a really good way to uh, make your guns a little bit overpower. I've upgraded almost every one of my guns that I keep on me at all times, which if you've seen some of my playthroughs or some of my tip videos, you've seen that my guns are fully upgraded to the max or at least how I want them. And I really don't put muzzles on because they just, they mess up the recoil and all that. But this is a really good way to make sure that your weapons have a punch. 
Or to the, the gun nut perk is the lone wanderer perk. Now, if you're a beginner, the first, uh, I would say, companion you would have is dog me. Now, if you get the lone wanderer perk, you can see who needs friends anyways. When adventuring without a companion, you take 15% less damage and can carry and your carry weight increased by 50. Because, I mean, having a companion usually takes the load off. Well, dog me is technically, technically not classified as a companion. So, you can have Dog Me and have the Lone Wanderer perk working at the same exact time. And since he's the same, the first companion you get anyways, why not invest into this anyways? So, uh, that's a really good perk if you are going to stick with Dog Me like I am. Like, I, I had Piper for the longest time, but I have stuck with Dog Me for like the fat last few videos. Because, I mean, I just like him. I think he's better because he can fetch things, find things. And randomly, he'll just find random stuff, and that's a really good perk if you're thinking about sticking with dog meat, because not only do you get extra stuff, like strong bag, you can carry more, but you take 15% less damage. So that's a really good perk if you're suggesting keeping dog meat. If you're just like me, since I was doing a uh, YouTube playthrough, I put almost all my points into endurance at the beginning of the thing, just so I could get this one thing called solar power. Now, if you're someone that did the exact same thing I did, because endurance will keep you so, like, it'll keep you alive in the wasteland. Because it's got so many health things that will keep you alive. Most of these have to do with your health and to keep you alive. And solar power is one of them. So, uh, sunlight, although I already have a rank two, but the first one is catch some rays, gain, gain two plus strength and endurance between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., which endurance. I mean, that's pretty explainable, but strength, 2 plus strength, it pretty much means that it puts 2 more into this, which means you can carry more, which that's really helped me out a lot, and then if you get a rank 2, sunlight regenerates your lost cells, and I'll say you just got into a battle with a, uh, say, uh, what are we gonna say, I don't know, just a rad roach, or a death claw, and you ain't got no stip packs, and it's daytime, you finally kill it, Sunlight will slowly regenerate your health after you're done killing that death claw. <clears throat> you could be like 2 HP and it'll slowly regenerate your health. I don't know really how fast it does, but it just uh, pretty much, it does it a little bit faster at rank 3. So, But you have to be level 50 for that and level 27 for this. And then I would say level 20, you're still a beginner at the game because I was. I didn't really do that much stuff by the time I was level 20. Because I, mean, I, I went out to kill things and level up before I started doing the missions. And not only were the missions easier, I had some levels to spend and get some perks. So if you're someone that does that, that's a really good one to try to get. Because it does help your health a lot and your strength. Now the next one is called the Scrounger perk. Which uh, pretty much helps you find ammo in the wasteland. Pretty much like the Bottle Cap perk in this game. I don't know if it's exactly the same. Where you can just find them in random chests, but in New Vegas, it made it a lot easier to find ammo and caps with some of the perks to uh, and just uh, randomly in containers in the wasteland. And this is what this is: the scrounger perk. You can find ammo. Just you know just how to scavenge to keep the fight going and find more ammo in containers. And then you can find even more, and then you can even find more as you just keep going. And there's a chance to gain ammo when firing the last round of your clip. So it's a, it's a pretty good one to invest in if you just go through ammo and you like killing things to level up like I do. Especially if you're a YouTuber just trying to do a uh, tips videos and you just want to get all the perks so you can just like help people out, make videos more. This is a really good one to have because it means you can just waste your ammo just killing things and that's what I like about this because I mean I found even cryolator ammo just laying around in containers. When I was doing my regular playthrough I had this rank 3. And I was just finding cryolator ammo, missiles, just random stuff, even mini nukes. And it's a really good one to have. So if you're just having trouble with ammo, even if you're not a beginner, that's a really good, uh, I would say, perk to have. But, um, sorry, I was messing with some. But, I mean, there's nothing really else to that other than, I mean... I've never found any grenades with it. I've literally only found ammo. 
but I would invest in that. The next perk is called Lead, Lead Belly, which, as I was saying, my other playthrough I had it, but I forgot to get it on through this playthrough. But it helps. It pretty much takes the radiation away from eating and drinking wasteland food. Because I mean, why wouldn't you eat, you know, crams and Insta Mash and Potato Crisp from 200 years ago? Like, why wouldn't you? I mean, that's the best idea I've ever heard. But the more you go, it takes even less radiation from eating and drinking. It pretty much, as you upgrade it, eventually you'll take no radiation from eating and drinking as you go up. So, I mean, if you have a really big problem with radiation, because that is the number one killer and annoyance in Fallout, is radiation. Because, I mean, it's taken away, and plus in this, it takes away your health in Fallout 4. In New Vegas, it was just a nuisance. I'd have to keep buying Radaways and Radix. It's even more of a nuisance now because it can kill me in Fallout 4 by taking my health away. So if you if you like eating food and not taking stim packs because they're so expensive, this is a good tip. That this is a good perk to have. Sorry if I keep saying tips because I'm used to doing tip videos on Fallout 4. So my bad if I keep saying tips. I'm just used to saying it because I usually do tips and tricks perks. Oh my god, tips and tricks videos. On Fallout 4, and I'm just used to saying tips. But uh, the next perk is Rad Resistant, which exposure to the wasteland has made you more resilient. Instantly grant 10% radiation resistance, or 10 plus 10, and it just keeps going up. And this is a really good one to have. Like I said, it's the main killer and nuisance of the wasteland, or the Commonwealth, is radiation because it's everywhere. I mean, you can't avoid it. Even swimming, you take plus 10 radiation and it's just ridiculous and then again I have this perk which I didn't put on the video because it's not really a beginner perk and it radiation regenerates your lost health but to a certain point as soon as you hit the radiation it just starts taking over your health but uh this is a really good one like I said I, I did have it in my other playthrough I totally forgot about some of the endurance ones because I was just used to getting these I got these and then started working on my other stuff like my armor and all that. I totally forgot about these two. I will probably start working on those. Well, probably not this because I use stim packs because I make my own now. But I will probably invest in rad resistance. Because, I mean, like I said, the number one killer and nuisance of the Commonwealth. Now, the last perk of this video is Medic. Now, if you're someone just like me, I mean, everyone uses Radaways unless you go to a doctor like an idiot and waste your caps. But if you're like a normal person, you'll use Radaways. And, I mean, some people prefer using food, that's why they get lead belly. Or some people prefer using stim packs, which is why I used to invest in medic. Like I said, I almost have every perk. I was, like, at level 100, but I finished the game and I just got bored, so I started over again. But, uh, this is a really good one to have because it does help out your stim packs and your rataways. And it slowly goes up, it just heals more health and takes away more radiation as you go up. And eventually... Stim packs and right away restore all lost health and radiation and work much more quickly, which is a really good thing because not only do you got to stab yourself with the stim pack, which makes you not be able to shoot, which I hate that about this new game. It's a good mechanic because, I mean, why, how else would you do it? But the only thing I don't like about that is you can't shoot and it slowly regenerates. So by the time I'm done stabbing myself, I have to do it again because I've already lost so much health. So. That's a really good one to invest in. It's pretty close to the uh, top, so it's pretty easy to get if you invest a few points in intelligence then immediately get this. Like I said, I mostly use um, stim packs, so as you can see, I have nine, uh, 119 stim packs and 35 right away. Uh, and then again, I've been doing a lot of tips and best weapons stuff. I don't know how many I uploaded yet, because... I think I didn't. I think I only uploaded one, and two are still uh, in my phone. But um, yeah, I ended up losing a lot of health in those videos. Is why I asked for likes on my best weapons video so much. Is because I lose so much health and use so many stim packs. But if this helped you or you enjoyed, leave a like. Um, comment what perks you guys or perk videos you guys think I should do next. And subscribe for more, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.